Hey, I'm Rob. I'm Kyle. And we're here at uh, Bobby's Hot and Cheesy, getting ready to go in and talk to Rob about the wonderful pizza that he has here in Roanoke. And if you stay till the end, we're giving away a free uh, $50 gift card to Bobby's Hot and Cheesy, and we'll tell you how to enter to win. Everybody quiet, please. Hey guys, this is Rob and Kyle with Rob from Bobby's Hot and Cheesy and we're going to be talking to him today about this great pizza place. So, so tell us how you got started in, in the pizza bar. It was an accident. We had a pie shop, uh, Piety, uh, up there at Towers Mall for a few years. In the last six months, we, uh, we started making pizza and we liked it. It was really good. Then we moved bubble cake into that spot and uh, when that happened, the pizza kind of went away. So, <laughs> a man without a pizza. So the uh, space next door became negotiable, and here we are. So what, uh, how did you come up with Bobby Tom Cheesy? It's an inside joke. Uh, when I was born, uh, I was two days old. My mother was holding me. My grandmother uh, reached over and asked to hold little Bobby, and uh, my mother went ballistic. Uh, she said, his name is not Bobby, it's not Robbie, it's not Rob, it's not Robbie. It's, his name is Robert, and, and that's what it will be. Uh, when my wife heard that story the first time, I've been Bobby in the house ever since. Right. So. <laughs> so have your friends adapted to calling you Bobby, or are you still Rob to them? They have, and I have to kind of correct them. You know, I'm, I'm Rob to people who know me. Right. So, yeah. just, just here, you're Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Indeed. So what's the biggest uh, pizza that you've ever thrown? Yeah, probably 18 inches. That's our large, uh, you know, just depending on how we stretch it. Do, you know the 10 inch pies the 18 inch pies uh, we sell them by the slice which that seems to be popular uh, you know the little breads the calzones all those it's good it's good do you actually throw them or do you more just stretch them and it depends on where it is in the the cycle you know you know there's a lot going into dough there's a lot more than people think uh, particularly when you make it from scratch you know so our ability to to throw the dough uh, isn't always there but uh yeah. So you guys are back there tossing behind your back and no, it all no, 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 <laughs> we, we put it all into the making of it. Uh, At the end of the day, I, I think the pizza tastes the same. Whether you've tossed it up this way exactly. or not. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's all about how you create the dough and the, the toppings in the pizza. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You make all your dough here? We do. We make the dough from scratch. Uh, it does make a difference in that there, you know, thousand ways to make a pizza or a baked product but uh with this dough i think it's imperative that we do that it takes a lot of extra work uh, a lot of extra training a lot of extra a lot of extra extra uh, right. but it, it really is worth it i think at the end of the day i think it makes a better product i think it's more memorable for the customer so so working on your business your day-to-day -day, is it more about creating the cupcakes for, for bowl cake or creating the dough and all that or is there more involved? Because a lot of people are like, I can open up my own restaurant and then they find out that's not it. Right. Oh, please don't. Yeah, it, <laughs> there's so much more to it. The, the, you know, well, the making of the dough is a lot of work. It's a small fraction of the day. The same with making the cupcakes, making of the icing, uh, making of all the baked products, the, the storing and moving of all the, the of products that we use um, when you when you love it you really care for it it's a full-time job right it's a full-time job uh, so yeah top selling pizza or what is the must-have pizza what do you think everybody should come in and just try top selling pizza is, is pepperoni there's just there's no getting around that fact you, you, you can't you can't beat the king um the must-have pizza is believe it or not three pigs and a chicken which is a, sort of a breakfast pizza. We put scrambled eggs on it. So you have bacon, sausage, uh, capicola, ham. The hot chick is a really good one. Uh, it has pineapple on it. Uh, barbecue chicken. Uh, it's definitely more one of the artisan pizzas, one of the more designer pizzas. Um, bacon blue is an absolute must. It's a white sauce pizza with bacon, blue cheese. Um, mac and cheese pizza for the kids. Right. <laughs> and bacon. Daughter loves some mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 
Uh, you know, I think that was more than one must have, but hopefully it covers all the bases. Yeah, absolutely. And you do have pizzas for gluten free and things like that too, right? We do, we do. We do gluten free and we do vegan cheese. So awesome. it's, a, uh, it's a growing demand. You know, you, you got to get people what they want. Yeah, so you have pizzas for everybody. And if they don't like pizza, they gotta like cupcakes, right? They gotta like cupcakes. <laughs> we always get caught going through this door. Every time we get pizza here, and then we walk next door, you gotta get cupcakes back. It's a beautiful thing. Most of the time, we're so full, we have to take cupcakes home. Definitely. We have boxes, so it works out. <laughs> That's right. It does. So I guess the last question is, does pineapple belong on a pizza or not? I say yes, absolutely. It depends on what you pair it with, but absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, I, I initially would have said no. When I opened this uh, place, I was like emphatically no, we're not putting pineapple on pizza. Because of bubble cake and because of you know uh, my, my wife's knowledge of, of various things when it comes to baking and, and texture and flavor, I say that it absolutely does because we do more than just put pineapple on it. We actually take our pineapple roll it in uh, raw sugar and, and, and caramelize it with blowtorch before we even put it on the pizza. So, oh, well, yeah. yeah. So most people just kind of chunk it on the pizza, <laughs> throw it on there, call it a day. No, I think when you, you make it something extra special, I think anything. Right. There's an art to it, then. More so than if you make it an art to it, right. it belongs on pizza. Cool. So, yeah. Top <laughs> seven. <laughs> hey, guys. As promised, we got the $50 gift card. Woo! Uh, just comment below if pineapple belongs on pizza or not, and we'll get it, it over does. to you. It doesn't. <laughs> it does, absolutely. <laughs> but drop it, drop a comment below, give it some love, share it out. We'll reach out to you if you won. Peace.